Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We're your host, Ricky and Steph. What up, what up, what up? Today's episode, we're going to be doing a another Netflix series, um, another Netflix movie review. And for this review, it's called The Christmas Crossfire, which does not fit the actual movie completely to me. But... Before we get into that review, if you like what we're doing on the channel with these reviews for movies, TV shows, video games, and anime, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and share the channel with your family and friends. And so, Steph, we normally would start off with you for your reactions. Take your time. But for me, I'm going to start off with myself. My reaction was, yeah, the plot wasn't all thought out too well for me. I mean, it had a good basis, but it kind of went off script to, to me completely and went off the rails just like one of the characters on there completely went off the rails and lost it. And it was just kind of random of how it happened. Like, from the start, you have somebody hooking up with this guy at the bar, and then he goes back with you to your parents for Christmas holiday. Like, where do they do that when ever? And then all of a sudden, okay, this whole shootout and all that. Mm. But the ending was okay because it ended. And so I'm gonna give you your let you get your reaction in. Oh, the dramatics! It made me cry. Just how bad it was. I don't know why. Just the movie was just terrible to me. I got emotional over those deaths. Those no, deaths got to him. No, it was a bad movie. It it was bad. So is it an onion? Excuse me? Is it an onion? No. Or a rotten tomato? What do you mean a rotten tomato? So you're giving it zeros on rotten tomato. Okay. I didn't enjoy this movie. I was sitting here thinking to myself, why am I watching a stupid <clears throat> movie? I could be doing something more productive. I could have been folding laundry. I could have took, I took my walk, my dog for an extra walk. I mean, I folded laundry while watching it. I would have rather just turned the TV off and folded laundry. I didn't enjoy this movie whatsoever. I didn't like it. Like, nothing about it. It was... It was just dumb. And when they say men need to listen to the women... He could have prevented all this just by listening to his girl. Even though they just met and they only had sex a couple times. This movie... <laughs> I want to see the alternate movie of him following what she said by getting in the car or not even leaving well, the car and then driving off. But granted, though, if he would have followed what she said, somebody would have died. Oh, well. I mean, people did die. <laughs> they just died anyway. But the people that... The person that would have died didn't die in this didn't care or actually no he did die too exactly yeah, exactly at the end yeah. again terrible terrible movie I mean it is what it, it is don't even ask me I'm sorry I'm really so right. my least favorite part though would be when you turned on no the uh, female getting shot in the back for the bucks from the uh, shotgun like I mean granted the guy was not in his right state of mind the fact that he was drunk and messed up all that Heartbroken and everything, but you really had to shoot her in the back with some buck shots, or really, and then you shot and killed your own father and her lover. Like, really, horrible, horrible character. My favorite part, though, was at the end, uh, when he shot his own stuff in the head, killed himself, uh, and then uh, credits rolled. I thought you was gonna say when it actually ended, when the credits started. So, your favorites, least favorites? My least favorite part is when you recommended this movie and told me to watch it for this show. Listen, it was a movie out there on Netflix. Watch. My favorite part when I was able to turn it off. It set me free. <sighs> so, I know that we are a movie review, or not just one, but we're a review channel. 
it just breaks my heart when some of these things that are just this bad gets green lit because that money can go elsewhere. I mean, granted, Netflix is trying to broaden its foreign. I, the thing genre, is, we've been getting some very good foreign. I feel like films and shows. We could have got a society season two that was originally renewed and then canceled thanks Listen, to Netflix. I know Netflix ain't had nothing to do with this. They could have brought used that money to bring over Utopia. Listen, Netflix canceled a laundry list of shows that they originally renewed earlier in this year, but then canceled them. That could have been for this. Exactly. I mean, they're giving uh, money to the Steve Carell uh, movie for season two, well, series for season two at a lower budget when it shouldn't even have been a movie one. Yeah. This for uh, Space stuck. Force. You know what I give this movie on a scale of one to ten? But I watched this movie over Space Force, though. You know that SpongeBob episode when he's having a switch of calm and you hear somebody in the crowd say, oh, God, this guy stinks? That's what I give this movie. Uh, this guy stinks. Eh. Mm. Anyway. Would you recommend it? I'm not going to say be gun ho to watch this. When you run out of what to watch on Netflix, what to watch on Hulu, Disney... With all the stuff coming out with Disney soon, regular TV, Amazon, movie theaters, your classics on your uh, DVD, and those with VHS, then watch this. No, don't even keep going. Let's do some streaming services. Watch some YouTube recommended videos. Watch our videos. Um, Shout out to Feed Me Philly. Watch their videos. (laughs) Um, What else we could do? Uh, Wrap some Christmas gifts. I mean, I, I like to watch something while I'm wrapping my Christmas gifts. I don't want to watch the uh, Yule Log Fire on YouTube. I'd rather watch the Yule, Yule Log Fire on YouTube. I don't know how he's going too far. But let us know in the comments below, what did you think about the movie? Do you disagree with our review? Did you like it? Did you think there was actually a good script? Anything like that? Let us know. Until next time. Mm-hmm.